<sighs> tearing that hair out. The board deal 47, recounting as much rugby league information as possible, taking requests that people leave in the comments. Right now, Rugby League History Channel has requested the 2006 round 13 game between St George Illawarra Dragons and Parramatta Eels. So here it is, and tearing the hair out, because it was so frustrating to watch. It's actually one of my least favourite games of all time, but it's a request, so we're going to do it. So, just a bit of an um, introduction to it. In the 2006 season, St George Illawarra were um, playing um, very well, like one of, the, um, one of the better teams in the competition. And this game was at one of their home grounds, Cogra, on a Friday night. So I expected them to win comfortably. They did at least win eventually, but yeah, anything but convincing or comfortable. Parramatta Eels, on the other hand, in 2006, um, struggled a great deal over the first half of the season. They eventually got it together in the second half of the season and won a lot of games then to make the finals finishing in eighth place. And then in their finals game, they had to play the first place team, which was Melbourne Storm at Olympic Park. And they lost that one controversially 12 points to 6 after Glenn Morrison was um, denied a fair try in that one. But back in the first half of the season, around 13, they weren't playing that well yet. So um, what I thought was going to happen was it was just going to be a convincing victory by St. George of Laura, thinking they'd win 28-10 or like 26-14 or like 30 points to 18. Thought it would be um convincing win by Dragons. But yeah, they did always get the win eventually, but yes. Easily one of the worst games I've ever seen. The conditions de definitely didn't help because it was um, um, drizzling, like light rain drizzle throughout the game, which is actually um, a lot harder to play in than if it's pouring rain. If it's pouring rain, you, like, you, you get used to it and you adapt to it, where if it's just drizzling, it makes the ball very greasy and slippery and you, like, you don't, um, you have a good, it's not the same, exact same weather pattern for the whole game, which does make playing rugby league harder, but still no excuse for the rubbish that both teams dished up. The crowd was 9,075 people. I think even the Dragons fans, even though they won, would have been disappointed. And the referee was Sean Hampstead, and I think it's probably the um, his least favourable game that he ever had to referee. Nil all at half time, so nothing doing by every team. A ton of drop ball, a ton of fundamental errors by both teams, like throughout the first half, and we went to half time at nil all. In the second half, Parramatta should have scored in the right corner. They'd have put a kick into the in-goal area and the ball in the wet conditions set up in the right corner. And Parramatta's Jared Hayne just had to land on the ball and ground at the score, but he missed it, unmarked, no one coming across to, to um, try and stop him scoring the try. And he dead set missed the ball and didn't score, so he bombed that one. So the score stayed nil all. Then eventually Parramatta's utility, John Morris, he landed a field goal to make it 1-0, so more like a soccer game than a rugby league game. So even with such a low-quality encounter, we did at least get drama in the last um, 11 minutes. So after Parramatta's field goal by John Morris for them to lead 1-0, so George Illawarra's Ben Hornby then kicked, stepped up and kicked the close-range field goal to make it 1-1, soccer score. Ben Hornby then had a second field goal attempt from a long way out, which fell short. Then after that, he was lucky enough to get a third field goal attempt, and he landed this one to put them up 2-1. Absolutely ridiculous scoreline, 2-1. A soccer scoreline, not a rugby league scoreline. Um, then, just to finish off such, um, in such incredulous circumstances, um, right on full-time, Parramatta had heard the full-time siren go. The Parramatta players had all walked off the field, heading for the sheds, and referee Sean Hess says, no, no, come back, come back, come back. It's not over yet. They still had one more play. They had one more scrum to feed after the full-time siren. So Parramatta just had to walk back on the field ridiculously just to just to um, have this scrum, which is going to be the last play of the game. The Dragons already had the game on anyway. And then finally, after the full-time siren, in the very last play of the game, the Dragons sent to Matt Cooper. He ended up getting the only try of the game from the scrum win, and that was converted by the Dragons. So got Aaron Gorrell from close range. The final score, an absolutely ridiculous scoreline. St. George of the War, 8, Parramatta 1, 2006 round 13. So... One of the poorest quality games I've ever seen. But just to show how almighty rugby league is, such one of the poorest quality games the Coe's ever produced in over 100 years of rugby league in Australia. And even then, in the last 11 minutes, it was such a dramatic finish, such dramatic circumstances, despite the atrocious quality of the weather and the game. So there you go. You boy all day taking a quest that people leave in the comments. Not one that I wanted to do, but it's a request, so I have to do it. 
And if you're still watching to the very end, thank you very much for all your support. Your boy, Daryl47.